Joining us today on the phone is Iona's golf coach, Sean Burke. Coach, welcome. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks to her for having me on today. Not a problem. Glad to have you on. Obviously, your team season kicked off a couple weeks ago at the Ryan T. Lee Memorial Collegiate. How do you think the team performed at the uh, tournament? Yeah, I think we had a, you know, it was a good, good first event, uh, you know, very well run event and, you know, good course, uh, you know, challenging, but fair and scorable. Um, we had some, you know, some logistical things that, you know, we had to go back and forth. So that kind of threw the guys off, but uh, we played really well first round. Uh, second round, you know, we struggled a little bit, uh, a little bit of fatigue, uh, you know, and just kind of, you know, not, not getting the breaks and, you know, never got momentum going. And uh, you know, I think we're a little tired and, you know, I got to do a better job of making sure that we're, we're ready to roll and, you know, ready to, you know, put up some good numbers. Yeah, well, your next event's actually coming up pretty soon. Next week, in fact, you are heading over to Dublin, Ireland for the third annual Iona UCD Challenge. Can you talk a little bit about the history of this event and how it came to be? Yeah, so this is a, a really unique event and, and special and, and really one that, that we're obviously privileged to partake in. And, uh, you know, it all started back in the early 2000s uh, with uh, Jim Hines kind of, you know, spearheading it from our side, uh, along with a contemporary from uh, University College of Dublin. And uh, they just kind of came up with the idea that the two schools, you know, have kind of an intertwined history and, and you know, wanted to compete in something. And golf was a logical choice because obviously both had, you know, you know good programs and, you know, equally matched. And we kind of got that thing going. And, you know, it's really a, a cool event. We play, you know, match play against University College of Dublin. And we have some of our alums um, who participate in a separate match against the uh, the alums from UCD. And it's really special. It's really fun. You know, we get to bond with, with alumni. We get to bond with, you know, our team, as well as, you know, the camaraderie and sportsmanship that that event provides is is really unique to, to our season in college golf. Yeah, you mentioned that camaraderie, and this is definitely a competition. You guys are playing to try and win, obviously, but the golfers from both schools get usually get along very well. Can you describe how that camaraderie has grown over the years? Yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly, you know, a competition first and foremost. We want to win, but and both sides do, but you want to win the right way, and these guys produce friendships and, you know, on a different level than – you know, other, uh, other tournaments and other schools that we compete against regularly. Uh, obviously, social media has, has helped uh, foster that relationship because our guys are, are connected year-round, and it's not just showing up and, and seeing familiar faces every year uh, as it was back when the event started. So it's, uh, it's really special. You know, the, both sides, like I said, sportsmanship is, is at a, a premiere. Uh, camaraderie is great. You know, they, they all get along really well. Uh, they're welcoming, you know, you know, when we go over there and we try to be great hosts when they come over here. Yeah, for sure. And you met, another thing I wanted to touch on, you mentioned before, the fact that this is a match play event, not stroke play like most of the usual tournaments are. So does that impact the approach you want your golfers to take as they take the course over the three days? Well, you know, match play you know, provides a little bit different uh, you know, style, obviously. Um, you're never out of a whole round where, you know, stroke play, you can, you know, one bad hole can, you know, submarine you. Uh, so it's kind of like, you know, especially in the, in the two man, uh, first two days, it's, it's playing aggressive. It's trying to make birdies. Um, you know, you don't win a lot of holes with pars, uh, in that format. And then obviously singles is, is one-on-one -on -one. and, you know, just got to stay, stay focused. And, you know, even if you're down, you know, a, a little swing of momentum can obviously bring you right back into it. Um, you know, so it's a, it's a fun format. You know, it's, it's the only one we play, uh, all year. You know they they play it over there in almost every one of their events, so obviously they have uh, you know a little more more familiarity with it. But but we practice it. We practice you know matches when we go out and play, and you know two man and single. So we're ready for it. We're up to the challenge and looking forward to it. Yeah, obviously you mentioned the style of play is very different, not just due to the match play element, but the weather, the courses you're playing on out there, and the experience of playing overseas. Iona won this a couple of years ago. Do you have a favorite memory from your time as a head coach playing over in Ireland? Uh, well, that was uh, obviously, you know, this will be my third trip over with the team and, uh, you know, both are, are that we've done have been special and unique in their own right. Uh, obviously last time, two years ago, uh, winning the, winning the cup, uh, was really special. It was kind of the, the ushering in, if you will, of a new era, uh, it kind of springboarded, you know, the last two years of success and really, you know, foster a confidence, you know, grew the, the team chemistry, 
uh, and having the trip early in the year does that all the time. And, you know, it's really been kind of the foundation piece to the last two years. Uh, so obviously winning is, is special, but just watching the bond that, that the guys have, you know, amongst each other, amongst the, the teams and our guys and our alumni, you know, is really special as we make connections uh, in, in multiple different ways. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it's going to be a different experience because playing golf out in Ireland, I mean, the courses there are so incredibly beautiful. I mean, it's got to be something your golfers are never going to forget. Hey, it's a it's a home run for us and our program. Uh, you know, it's obviously a selling point going out and, and playing Port Marnock, you know, which just hosted the British Ham, uh, playing Royal Dublin, playing the Island, Baltre, you know, which all hosted, you know, at some point the Irish Open. So you're getting, you know, the best of the best of Ireland and you're, you're, you're really, uh, you know, focused on the competition, but enjoying the moment, uh, you know, and the, and the experience that, that playing Lynx golf, playing over in Ireland, you know, provides us for, for the week. Yeah. And obviously you guys coming back a couple weeks, hopefully you'll be bringing that trophy back with you. That would be great, but you'll also be coming, be able to practice more on campus with a new putting green that's being installed. So how will that impact your program moving forward? Yeah, that, that's been, you know, kind of a, a, a dream uh, for the last couple of years. And, you know, in the beginning, it was a little far-fetched. And obviously, the success of the program has, has led to, you know, some some support and, you know, opportunities. And that, that putting green and short game area is, is going to be a tremendous benefit. Uh, the opportunity to practice, you know, around the green is an area that, that we struggle in finding those opportunities. And, you know, being able to, to go out there for, you know, a full practice, go out there in between classes, you know, uh, an hour here, an hour there. You know, every, every shot that you hit can, you know, make you better. And having it, you know, at our doorstep is going to be huge. Um, it's kind of, you know, taking, it's going to take our program and how we practice and our expectations, you know, all the way up to a whole new level. All right. Again, Iona, UCD Challenge next week. Coach, thanks for all the time. Best of luck at the, at the Challenge next week. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for the call. No problem. Thank you.